Hello again and welcome to SCLC TV. I'm Maynard Eaton, your host, and of course our president and CEO, Dr. Charles Steele Jr. Dr. Steele, I just heard you on the phone talking about Panama City. It's still devastated. That's why you're now focusing on affordable housing even more so, is that correct? Yes, yes, Maynard. And as you just witnessed, uh, uh, talking to someone who's a native of Panama City and who's there all the time, saying that the people are so devastated. Nothing has changed since Hurricane Michael. The worst hurricane to hit the shores of America since the 1890s. You think there's a solution? Do you have a key perhaps to re remedying that situation? You know, Mayor, for many years you and I talked about it and, and, and we'll discuss all over this country about the aspect of black wealth, poor people wealth, particularly the people of color who've been disenfranchised. What is black wealth? We don't own oil fields. We don't own uh, or manufacture automobiles plants. You know, what do we own? Our homes. That's the black wealth. And we lost 50% of that in the recession, which I call an oppression and a depression. Affordable housing is, is at the top of the agenda. You say it's just a continuation of the Poor People's Campaign. It is. The original Poor People Campaign that Dr. King was assassinated and murdered on in terms of poor people. If you want to get in trouble with this nation and any other nation, start talking about hip and poor folks. We're saying that we're going to start in Panama City. We said that right after the uh, hurricane. Right. We're going to Panama, and I've been there. We are going back to Panama City. We're going to have a forum real soon, and we will let the dates know throughout uh, the region. And not only in Panama City, we're just getting started in Panama City. We're talking about throughout the region, but Panama City is in dire need. Also, there's some who suggest that gentrification is alarming folks to the point where they can't afford their homes, can't afford to stay in their homes. And some people say it's a conspiracy, even like with Katrina. They were saying, you know, people want folks to be displaced, to leave their communities so they can have commercial properties and bring about other opportunity in business. Finally, we witnessed on TV this week and for the last several weeks, massive protests, street demonstrations in Hong Kong. Something that's taken from or borrowed from SCLC street protests back in the 60s. Absolutely. And, and it's really disturbing knowing that the impact on all the movements of the day, uh, they are gaining opportunities and respect and giving attention to because of what took place in the 50s and the 60s with the nonviolent approaches of Dr. King and all the others in the civil rights movement. Many of us have arrived at our station in life and we're saying we don't need it no more. But everybody else picking up what we have done and they're bringing attention and hopefully opportunities, and we support it, opportunities for them and their agenda. But it's not our agenda. We must start with our agenda. Like someone told me, I'm not African American. I'm not a person of color. I support you, but I can't lead the march. <laughs> Well, you're leading this march. Thank you, Ladies sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been SCLC TV. SCLC still matters. See you next week.